A new state bill announced today would require schools to offer full in-person learning for students in the upcoming school year. Let's get to Fox 12's Kendra Kent. She's live with the details about this and a look at why supporters say a law is necessary. Kendra? Yeah, and lawmakers say that right now there's already widespread support that the benefits of in-person learning for kids far outweigh the risks of spreading COVID-19. They say by passing this bill, though, it will just ensure certainty for parents and for students. Now, state rep Vicki Breeze Iverson, a Republican from Prineville, introduced House Bill 3399 today, calling it a bipartisan effort supported in both chambers of the legislature. The bill would order the Oregon Department of Education to ensure that 100 percent of in-person instruction is offered in classrooms around the state. Reese Iverson cited her own example as a mother of students who struggled with their academics, social interactions and behavior during the last year of online and hybrid learning amid the pandemic. Reese Iverson says that not passing the bill would hurt all families, especially those who live in school districts that have been reluctant to go back to in-person learning despite low COVID-19 numbers in their communities. We need certainty for working parents that their kids will be in school. The most vulnerable kids in Oregon need a safe place to go every day. And parents need to know it will be there for them. Now, if passed, this bill would go into law and take effect before the end of next month. Reporting live in our mobile newsroom, Kendra Kent, Fox Silver Oregon.